Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got the Predator 9500. We're going to be doing the maximum power output on this generator, okay? We already did the Duramax, now we're going to do the Predator. Let's see exactly what we can get. Let's show you the setup we got. Since the uh, 9500 does not have a digital gauge, all it has is an hour meter, we're going to have to use uh, monitors to uh, see the output, okay? One thing I want to point out with the uh, Predator is this switch right here. A lot of people are confused about the 120, 240 switch. When I tested this generator, I got some comments saying that I ran the RV on 240. Guys, what you have to understand is this is a 240 120 okay it's not just 240 if you want to run like a 50 amp rv there's two legs okay or or which you could say two lines or two legs one and two in order to get two legs you got to run it on here i'm going to demonstrate that right now let's get the generator started choke and start. <laughs> Okay, so this is my 240 volt meter. I have my 120 here. The reason I have two of them is I got this one to monitor the 30 amp 240 volt 7200 watt heater. And for this heater right here, I have this box which is going to be plugged in the 120 20 amp and the other one's gonna be plugged in this one. Watch what happens when I, I have it right here, right? Leg one and leg two is working. When I switch to just 120, leg two goes off. So you only have one leg, 120. If you wanna get two legs so you can run like a 50 amp RV, you got to switch it to the other side. See what happens right there. Leg two. Now you're getting two legs of 120. So you could run like a 50 amp RV. It does not make 240 unless you connect these two legs together. Okay. And we're not doing that in an RV. We're going to do it with this generator because it's a 240 40 volt appliance. Let's get the test started. Okay, so we have our 240 eco mode. I got right about 2.2 hours on this thing. It's the exact as the uh, Duramax, so they should have the same results, okay? One's not uh, more breaking in than the other one. So, if, what you guys are gonna do is, um, we're gonna be combining these two wattage to get the one okay and this one's gonna be for the small heater 7200 watt 500 plus watts okay that comes up to 7700 watts and then we should get an overload light let's see uh let's see if we can show the ratings 7600 running, 9500 starting. So let's see where we get. 7700 watts. So it should be right at full load. Okay, first one. Let's turn the big heater on. Three point five nine, three point five six. Give it a chance, it should get the fan's not on yet. There you go. Now it's blowing high. 
not air. Okay, let's turn on this one right here. I'm gonna use the first number one. That puts an extra 522 watts. Overload light is on. Oh, 7,700 watts, guys. 7,700 watts. We'll do the math. We'll add everything up. But we'll see exactly where the Predator 9500 shuts off. And that's real good because it's right at its rated wattage, okay? 7,600. This one does not have a propane, so we're only gonna be doing the gas test, but exactly as the uh, Turamax got 7,700 watts and overload light comes on and then it protects itself from going over. I'm gonna show you guys how I made this meter, okay? It's a 240 volt split meter. I can put one more meter showing uh, the, two, the sum of both. Didn't have enough space to do that. I'd probably do that on the next uh, meter I make. Okay guys, we just tested the uh, Predator 9500. You can see that it overloaded right at 7700 watts. Probably a little more than that. We'll do the math to make sure where we were. We probably can run it again. Um, in order to reset this overload light, there's nothing. I, I shut off everything. Try to reset. You gotta shut it off. Make sure these are off. Okay. And let's try to restart it. <coughs> yep, gotta choke it. Okay, we're gonna stay on our 240. And turn on the main breaker. The fan is still on on this. It's trying to cool down. So that's why you see it's cooling 44 watts. The way you do it, you add your two wattage and that's how you get your 240. I want to try something. I want to see exactly where it shut off. Okay guys, I'm going to do something a little different. I want to know exactly when the overload light comes on on the Predator, okay? So I added the Variac so I can control this heater output. I wanna add it on real slow to see exactly where the overload light comes on. Cause I know everything combined is right at 7,700 watts. But I wanna see if it comes on right at 76, okay? So we're gonna add on the voltage a little, the wattage a little slower. Okay, let's turn on the big one. One seventeen, one eighteen. Same wattage, three point five eight, three point five five. Okay. Now this one right here, I'm gonna control it here. Let's turn this on, and we're gonna ramp up the power. You're gonna see it coming right here, a little slow. I wanna see when this overload light comes on. Let's go about a, at about a hundred, 76. Okay, 157 watts, no overload light yet. Let's go about 200. Okay, uh, we're at 230. Okay, it comes on right around. Let me back down, let me back down. 
Okay, 200. So, seems like right about, we'll do the math. Get that down, 190s. Okay, so that's it right here. If you add 3.53, 3.53, and 200 overload light comes on. So whatever that is, right there. Man, it's hard to get the 200 to stick. Okay, 2.1. This is where the overload light comes on. So whatever that adds up to, that's where your Predator 9500 max output wattage is. Anything over that? Let's see where we shut it off, okay? So that's 200, 250, 300. See if I can get all of them together. 300, 400, 500. So right at 500, it shuts off. And that's exactly full load for the 9500. So we'll do the math on that um, and I'll put it on the screen so we can see exactly where the overload light comes on and where exactly where it shuts off. Okay guys, don't think I can make it any simpler than that. By adding the variac, we were able to uh, fine tune the over overload light and the shut off. All right, now, a lot of you guys ask if the uh, Predator has the storage mode. Yes, it does. You could shut it off right here, or you could just flip this right here, turn your eco mode off, okay? Just wait for it to run out of gas. That way your carburetor is empty, and you're ready to be stored. All right, now here's the important step. Once your carburetor is out of gas, guys, do not forget to turn off your generator, okay? Come back and turn off the main, all right? Once you get that main off, your battery will not drain on you. All right, guys, we just tested the Predator 9500 and the outcome was exactly what we thought. Uh, a lot of you commented on the last video, on the Duramax video, you think it's gonna be the same, and you were right. They're uh, exactly the same output, but the Duramax on propane is really surprising. Thanks for watching Gavin's Garage. Please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate that, okay? Have a nice day, guys. Thank you, bye.